Okay, so now that we've used the force equation, let's derive it. The statement reads, derive F equal grad of M dot B. Uh, the author gives a suggestion. Here's one way to do it. Assume the dipole is an infinite square of side epsilon. If not, chop it up into squares and apply the argument to each one. Choose axes as shown in the diagram and calculate F equal I integral DLB across each of the four sides. Expand B into a Taylor series on the right side. For instance, B equals B naught epsilon Z is approximately equal to B zero zero Z plus E DB dy evaluate at zero zero Z. Something to that nature. All right, let's look at the diagram. So we have here um, x, y, and z coordinates, square of length epsilon, so our vector area will be epsilon squared, and current running uh, what seems to be counterclockwise to produce a torque in the, or a field in the x direction. All right, so in the differential form again, we have f equal i dy y hat cross b zero y zero plus dz z hat cross the expansion and then the minus signs so pretty much doing the whole thing as far as all components are concerned at the various locations okay so one for each side like they said here once we simplify down uh, we can see here that after we factor out the y hat components we're left with cross b zero y epsilon minus b zero y zero which is just equal to the approximation epsilon db dz and similarly for the z at we have the other part of the um expansion epsilon db dy so when we put them together and substitute it in we get df is approximately i um in the brackets negative dy y hat cross the expansion term and similarly Add that together with the dz, z hat term crossed with their expansion term. You can kind of see here now that we're looking more like a cross product. And so we need to backtrack a little bit. We factor out an i epsilon from all of it. We put in terms as dz, z hat cross db, dy minus dy, y hat cross db, dz. So that we can fiddle with the arrangement here soon. All right, so... Now to find what the force is by integration. When we integrate both sides, we get F is approximately equal to the integral of this giant thing. Now we can note here a couple things. The integral of dy times db dz at 0y0 is equal to, or approximately equal to the expansion at 0, 0, 0. Similarly, for the dz and dy, we get the expansion of db dy, okay? So after that, we can now funnel those things through and substitute in. We see here that we end up with F equal I epsilon squared, which we kind of expected after the integration. We still have Z hat cross DB dy minus Y hat cross DB dz. Okay, again, it still looks like cross products. And indeed, we could set this up as two independent cross products with the minus sign in between and that's how we get the, uh, we'll put zeros in the second row to get all the cancellations, but to get the appropriate cross product for Z hat and uh, DBDY and Y hat and DBDZ. After that, after we expand it all out, fiddle with it, we can now see the other parts at, and we'll substitute in M for I epsilon squared for the vector area was epsilon squared as we saw in the diagram. We see here that after the expansion and the cross products, since we had two singular, uh, we had a lot of minus signs, a y hat, x hat, x hat, and z hat term of the field bx, by, bz, bz, and then uh, bx with the different directions. So all the fancy stuff, you can read that through. You can see here that the x hat still has a term that needs work. Uh, but since we know the divergence of b is zero, we get to write that D by um, B sub Y over DY plus D uh, BZ over DZ is equal to the negative uh, partial of BX with respect to X. Again, since it all equals zero, just take it to the other side. 
Once you do that, now you get something that you can actually work with, okay? So you get uh, BX and with respect to X, you get BX with respect to Y, and you get BX with respect to Z, and the X, Y, and Z hat respectively. So this shows that M dot B equal M BX, since M is uh, equal to M X hat here. So the gradient of M dot B is equal to M del BX, which is exactly what's shown. And therefore, when we reconstitute it, we see that F is equal to grad M dot B, and that is the final result.